New at 10 o'clock, a popular rapper snubs Houston. Now, Young Jeezy is facing a big lawsuit. A promoter says the rap artist promised to perform at a concert here, but backed out, leaving that promoter out tens of thousands of dollars and, of course, some very disappointed fans. Brandon Walker live now. And, Brandon, we understand you spoke with the promoter's attorney. Yeah, I did. And one of the points that he was able to uh, ma help us understand, Dominique, is that these lawsuits, the uh, the promoter versus the artist uh, over a breach of contract isn't a new thing. Here is this particular lawsuit. Among other things, it's alleged that Young Jeezy and his camp took off with more than $30,000 as part of a deposit. And tonight, the promoter says he's yet to get his money back. What happened? I guess he just decided he wasn't going to do it. Attorney Troy Wilson finds himself at a loss. Confused, he says, over why rapper Young Jeezy did not perform in Houston back in December. A concert for which Wilson's client promoted, a concert Wilson says Jeezy blew off. And, uh, just didn't make any sense to us. Now there's this lawsuit filed last week in federal court. Jeezy, or Jay Jenkins, is being sued by the promoter, Daryl Austin. To take our money and simply say, hey, I'm young Jeezy, you know, I don't have to do it. Uh, well, in our country, it doesn't work like that. The concert was scheduled for December 9th at the Arena Theater, according to the lawsuit. It alleges Jeezy and his team agreed to a $30,000 deposit. Altogether, he was going to be paid $60,000, according to the suit. Tickets were selling. He was advertising it on his site. Here's a look at that, a promotion for the concert on Jeezy's Facebook page. But in November, the suit claims Jeezy's camp began to back off on performing. He didn't want the stage to go around, and so we agreed that the stage wouldn't rotate. Then the lawsuit alleges Jeezy's camp demanded more money. First, the promoter obliged anything, Wilson says, to get Jeezy on stage. We offered to reschedule uh, because the tickets were selling pretty briskly. He's uh, pretty popular here in the Houston area. Yeah, and there were a lot of people who were upset over the fact that, that concert was canceled. So the promoter is looking for that initial $30,000 deposit back, also the money that they used to reimburse those tickets and any other fees they used to get that concert on the road to get a concert that didn't happen in the first place. We're live tonight in Southwest Houston. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.